ran into Senator Lindsey Graham. He was there speaking to a bank of cameras about his beloved friend John McCain, who, like me, is dying of a brain disease, who is struggling to live. And he was talking about John as a human being and, and his friend. And I rolled up to him along with Megan Anderson, who's almost paralyzed, and we said, Senator Graham, could we speak with you for a moment? And he ran away. There is video of it, NBC, all of you were there. And that moment for me was emblematic of the entire disaster of this bill. Instead of listening to American people, they are running away from us. Lindsey Graham, the great senator from the state of South Carolina, was afraid of two civilians in wheelchairs who wanted to talk to him about legislation in front of his body. What am I going to do, beat him up? What is he so afraid of? What are these senators and representatives so afraid of? They're afraid of seeing us as human beings. They're afraid of recognizing our humanity. Because if they see us as humans, if they acknowledge that we are people with hopes and dreams and love and family just like them, then their legislative agenda becomes untenable. It is unacceptable for them to promote this bill if we are in fact human beings. So Lindsey Graham could not tolerate seeing my face and hearing my voice. He had to run away. And that's what the entire Republican Party is doing. It is running away from the American people because it has removed humanity from its vision of American government. So I will close with this to the American people. This is our government. This is our democracy. There is only one way to combat the money of K Street and the money that is driving this train towards such an unjust and inhumane and blind piece of legislation. The only way to defeat this is if the American people rise up and we elevate our voices and we say this is our government, this is our Congress, this is our democracy, and we reject the politics of human oppression. We reject the politics of ignoring um, the American people. And we insist on a government that represents us.